I need everybody to bear with me for a second. This isn't my usual intro because this is a very unusual kind of video. I don't even know what to call it. We'll figure something out. But I want to talk about the brand new Tesla Cyber Truck. Yeah. Um, I really wasn't going to do a video about this because, you know, not really my thing but I do need the content to build this channel up and I'm sure there's maybe two or three people that want to know my opinion on this thing and uh, your daddy Doug DeMiro not my daddy because I'm much older than him uh, just did a video while I was preparing to record mine so if you want to see a better video that goes more in depth about how this truck compares to other trucks on the market go watch Doug's video because that's Doug's job this ain't my job I don't get paid so I'm gonna give you uh, that bare minimum because you know I really don't have time and there's other cars I really want to talk about this uh, not so much so there is three models of this car the single motor which is $40,000 towing capacity of 7,500 pounds a zero to 60 time of 6.5 seconds and a range of and then there's the dual model which has 10,000 miles of range 10,000 pounds of towing capacity and a zero to 60 time of 4.5 seconds and that is $50,000 and then there's the top shelf version the tray motor which is a 500 uh, mile range of 14,000 towing capacity in a zero to uh, 60 time of 2.9 seconds and that costs seventy thousand dollars on top of that you have the full self-driving uh, ability which is another seven thousand dollars on all ends and to put an order for this car there's a hundred dollars due and elon musk said that this car has already got two hundred thousand uh orders which is you know clear as day because it's only a hundred dollars and it's refundable so you know anybody can put their money down just to say that they ordered a cyber truck i do it if i wasn't uh for the fact that i would probably forget that i gave elon musk uh a hundred dollars and then i would have a cyber truck outside my door in two three years and i'm pretty sure i can't afford a forty thousand dollar uh truck of this uh nature i just can't do it i don't know what i'm gonna be doing in uh, two or three years I might not even be here so we we'll have to wait and see I just know I won't be putting the order just to say I had an order for a cyber truck it's just not gonna happen now this truck has uh, one particular gimmick that I wasn't expecting because I watched Doug's uh, video it has bulletproof glass don't don't know why but it's only bulletproof to nine millimeter rounds which means if you lose use anything uh, more powerful then you're probably going to be in trouble and the uh the glass itself was supposed to be um extremely durable but i guess that proved uh, wrong when the guy hit it broke the first time he hit it i guess maybe it's supposed to be durable that it doesn't shatter if that's the case and that's true i didn't watch the demonstration so i really couldn't say and this is going to lead me into telling you how i discovered um, this thing was a thing. Memes. Yeah, I was on Facebook after work minding my business and I seen a meme comparing this car to a low res uh, car from back in PlayStation's Polygon days. It might have even been a Sega Saturn. I don't even know. It was that old, but I do remember it distinctly. And I was like, what is that? And I read the lines tesla cyber truck i'm like where's the cyber truck and i went and looked and oh my god it was the same exact design and i want to talk about the design um what were they thinking uh to quote another more popular youtuber that i don't know where they got the idea that that would be a design for a truck people would want and i usually edit out the parts when i start getting long-winded and can't think of words to say but i want you to understand the thought process of me trying to describe this car off of the first things that's coming to mind because none of this is written down because i'm giving you my thoughts 
and clear and concise of what I'm thinking at the moment. And this car reminds me of the cars that were designed for, you know, the 60s when people thought how the future would look uh, 40, 50 years from now. And we know that the future isn't anything like that. Now we have different ideas of what the future is going to be. And this is not it. And I do believe that uh, electric cars are our future because fossil fuels is a finite thing. It's not going to be around forever. It's going to run out and we're going to have to transition so we don't get stuck in a place where we have a bunch of non-functioning uh, gas driven cars on the road just there unoperable you know that would be the most insane thing like one of those post-apocalypse movies where there's a bunch of cars broken down on the road and no longer drive scattered all over the street eventually those cars are gonna have to be removed destroyed or whatever to make way for the future and I don't care what anybody says uh, the future might be electric cars but uh, I don't think the electric trucks uh, future is gonna look like this monstrosity I'm just saying so I'm gonna bring this video to a close because it's getting a little long in the tooth Elon Musk if you hear me um, go back to the drawing board with the design uh, it's terrible throw it out start over you can keep all the other stuff maybe the pricing can come down a little bit too for those that want a more in-depth video watch Doug DeMiro he knows what he's talking about I'm just a guy you know I have some ideas but you know not too many people here care about what I got to say so I'm gonna keep it at that if you like the video you know what to do like the video if you wanna see what I got planned next come see what I got planned next got a lot of store for this channel really want you guys to be there with me and um, I'll catch you next time